Hello guys and welcome to another video course on Millionaire by 25. Well today we will be looking at step by step on how to rank your gig on Fiverr. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the notification bell icon to get notified when we drop a new video. The course will start right after the intro. Welcome back guys. So like I said, Today, I will be putting you through steps on how to rank your gig on Fiverr. Now, most buyers go to search when they want to search for uh, sellers. Let's take, for instance, a buyer wants to get the services of a website designer. They go to the search bar and uh, you find out that the, the first 10 to 15 persons there uh, are the ones they go for so let's let's say websites website design you see what comes out here so now we have this we have this we have this we have this now these uh sellers this 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 these are one of the top ranking ranking uh, sellers on Fiverr when you talk about website design right so um, for you to give your gig a higher rank there are a few things you would need to do majority of the people here are on top it's not all about the number of reviews that make you on the top rank that's one thing I'd like to bring to your understanding because I see a lot of persons who say uh, when you have a lot of uh, reviews on Fiverr it puts you on the top rank it's not just all about that now let's take a look at this let's see the number of reviews this person has to see if it's true if you check down here this person has uh, 75 reviews right let's take a look at this one let's go uh, we can okay we can even see no need of clicking this is 75 review this is 40 this is 192 this is 221 and you can see that this this is higher than this being 75 but you can see this person is here on the top rank and to also tell you or to prove to you that it's not all about review this first person is 75 this is 40 right if you come down below you'll find people who have higher reviews this is 156 so why is he or she not on the top rank so you have to debunk that idea okay now i will walk you through the four major factors fiverr use to rank your gig now number one is metadata all right this is uh, all about the information that you give fiverr about your gig now let's take for instance the let's use a simple word seo let's look at seo now let's take a look at this person who is at the top number one let's see his gig now if we control f to find let's say seo let's see how many times seo appears seo here he uh, this person also has seo in his name that's uh another uh metadata uh see seo here seo here seo you see seo 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 almost everywhere about the gig you can see seo at the beginning seo here seo here you can see so when you have this your your tags you have um seos on your your description your name it gives you uh, a better ranking okay when someone searches SEO when someone types the keyword SEO yours would be one of the first to pop up okay so it is important that you have most of the keywords that people mostly search for on your title the description of your gig you know even on your um, your uh, tag you know so it you optimize your gig with 
the keywords that is most searched don't forget all right and remember just go back to the last uh, training i gave on how to set up your fiverr gig and you will have uh, a better understanding on this now that's for metadata okay to put you on um a better ranking now let's look at the next which fiverr uses to rank you and uh, this is called favorite favorite now a lot of persons make this mistake on uh, favorite uh, many do it wrongly but i'll show you now um most times people exchange favorites they go on facebook or other sites trying to exchange favorites yeah fine but it, it doesn't really give you that like if you don't do it properly because trust me uh, fiverr has a way of tracking to know if this if your favorite is real or not now this person has 24 okay let's look at let's look out for more persons let's use this seo let's see how many favorites this person has 153 can you see let's close it let's check the third person this person has 131 can you see let's open this one this person has 3237 okay so when you have uh, a good um, your keywords are rightly used for your gig that's one two favorite that's the second one I will be putting you through um, probably on another video course I will be putting you through uh, ways to get favorite how to make that come out right how to do it rightly but that will be on another video course All right let's move on next is traffic now by this i mean real traffic i'm not talking about um uh, the fake traffic a lot of people you know try to get fake traffics uh, for themselves fiverr will catch you some people use bots you know and if you do fiverr would detect so not just any random kind of traffic we're looking at real external traffic now when you uh go to quora um all the social media handle you answer questions like one of the video courses i had to talk about how to answer questions on quora to get traffic to your fiverr uh, gig um, how to use uh, medium.com you know write articles you can use your facebook social media and the rest and people come in people get to see your articles write-ups about your gig your password and then they click the link to come down or they search you on fiverr fiverr has a way of identifying those real traffic and you are definitely rewarded for it so fiverr takes that into consideration and that's you building your traffic it gives fiverr a good signal that you're putting a lot of work and uh, it also shows that you are a serious seller okay and lastly we will be looking at performance now um i have deactivated the the account i actually used in uh, running that training i wish i did not but let me see if i can use someone's uh, gig to pull that out okay now if you log in to your that's if you log into your uh, fiverr account you would see uh, where you have the response rates delivery time order completion now always ensure that your response rate your delivery time and your order completion is at a hundred percent okay now here you can see a uh, rate breakdown for this person sellers uh, communication level five star recommended to a friend 4.9 service as described well fine 
uh, but it would not show you like when you are on your own account uh, like if you won't get that like when you're on your own account but like I said I have deactivated that account so I will not really be able to you know, pull that out to show you but once you log in you would see you definitely would see your response rates now most times like when you have your when, when your response rate is a hundred percent Fiverr definitely would put you would rank you uh, on top okay your delivery time time to deliver your order completion time ensure that they are all on 100 now if for any reason try as much as possible not to cancel orders now fiverr themselves said it that when you cancel orders that it drops it drops your level and if for any reason you can't deliver on time send now there's something you can do send your buyer a random file uh from your phone saying hey dear i wanted to send this to another client you know please ask me for modification and when you do something like this you automatically uh and um elongates the time for delivery because when you have a poor time delivery when your time delivery is very poor it drops your ranking level so this is a technique i'll repeat it again whenever you are unable to deliver on time and you see that your time is running out before it even gets to the running out you should know that uh, i won't be able to meet up what you need to do is send a random file probably a document to your client and then you can message your client say hi uh hey there i'm sorry i was supposed to send this file to another client please uh ask me for modification and when you do that automatically fiverr will uh, elongate the time for delivery so now notes that order completion is the grandfather when talking about order completion try not to cancel like i said initially try not to cancel fiverr made it clear that if you cancel your orders they will push you down the ranking so someone with an established although someone with an established account uh, can cancel orders and still get back still get orders back to 100 percent of the time but only cancel only cancel when you are sure of an order that you can deliver or well, probably someone is asking you to carry out an order or a task that you on your own you can't uh, deliver you can't do then you can else if for any reason just avoid cancellation right and then reviews from clients also helps you on your ranking so i've made mention of four i talked about one which is your metadata I'm talking about your seo search engine optimization i'm talking about your tag your your keywords all right second is favorite getting real favorites not faking it not manipulating it and thirdly i talked about traffic so you need to explore sites uh, other social media handles try to link direct people from there to patronize you on fiverr that puts you on a high ranking and fourth i talked about performance and this has to do with your response time it has to do with your delivery time when the time you have to respond when someone employs your services your time to deliver your order completion time everything ensure that it's at least 98 99 100 and try not to cancel orders that can really put your ranking downward and lastly i also added i said uh, reviews from clients too can help you so that's all for this course don't forget to like subscribe click on the notification bell icon to get notified whenever we drop a new video thank you so much and see you on the next video course